Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, my first uh, Canlander gameplay thing. I'm here with Riker. Uh, we're going to be playing a few games of Commander. You're probably going to hear me shuffling quite a bit because I don't know how to make that quiet. Uh, Riker, would you like to introduce yourself in the Decker plane? Sure, thanks Brayden. Uh, yeah, I am Riker. I am playing an Esper um, reanimator deck. So... Uh, this format is relatively new to me. The point system seems like a great way to continually balance uh, deck power level. The format seems sweet. Uh, I'm new to it, so I thought I'd bring back a style of deck that uh, I used to play in the format Legacy, back when blue-black uh, reanimator was a thing. So this is a tribute to that. Sweet. And your points are pretty similar to mine. They're Dig Through Time, Vampire Tutor, Mana Drain, Spell Seeker, Gifts Ungiven, Intuition, and Witch Claw Talisman. If you're interested in the points, uh, you can see them on the right. Riker's picture is right there. That's Riker's points. And then I'm on the left. I guess I'll introduce my deck too. I'm playing uh, Thoracle Gifts. So basically, if you've played CDH before, you're pretty familiar with, uh, you know, Sabine's Reclamation Piles and Thassa's Oracle, but with, with uh, the speed of this format and the way like the interaction usually lines up and the fact gifts I'm given is legal, you can actually do a really great Savine's Reclamation pile with Thassa's Oracle and Spellseeker. So my points are Vampire Tutor, Mana Drain. Uh, Mana Drain's good because you can... Uh, it's good in Riker's deck for the same reason. It can help you force out big plays. Uh, Intuition, Tainted Pack, Dig Through Time, Gifts I'm Given, Spellseeker. My uh, gifts pile is usually... Spellseeker, Thassa's Oracle, Unearth, and Reanimate, or Savine's Reclamation if I want to have some redundancy. So uh, I'm like a control deck that just happens to have a lot of really powerful combo cards. So uh, I'm going to keep this one. What about you, Riker? Yeah, I'm going to keep this first seven. All right. And uh, Riker's the guest, so uh, he's going to go first. Wow. How generous. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, go ahead. Um... Uh, Godless Shrine taps. Let's go. I'll draw. Um, looking at my hand, trying not to lose. I'll play this Bark Channel Pathway to keep it uh, as a forest side, and I'm going to play a Noble Hierarch. And I'm going to pass okay. turn after that. So uh, for anyone who hasn't played this format before, I found the Pathway lands to be like really powerful. What, what about you, Riker? Uh, yeah. Um, unless you're running uh, certain effects with like Mystic Sanctuary with islands or yeah uh, that sort of thing, um, it's it's generally needed. Um, life matters with only twenty life, so yeah. And by one game, that's my uh, opinion. Uh, Ghostly Pilfer. Wow, that card's really good. It's it's, it's foil. So um, yeah, that's that's good. You got it. All right, I will pass turn. Untap, draw. Um, I'm gonna cast a serum visions. Mm -hmm. Draw. <sighs> too little, too late. How afraid of you of this card? Will you just show a spell pierce or something or a spell snare? I'm just genu genuinely afraid of you. Uh, I'm going to bottom these cards. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play a Polluted Delta, and I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. So I'm afraid of Ghost of Pilfer because, first of all, it's a card advantage engine, which is uh, not very common in this format, I'd say. Like, usually you're not just playing a turn two value engine, in my experience. Uh, but if you get to resolve it and keep it around, it's very powerful. And then, in addition to that, um, it lets you discard your you're just insane cards for free so it's hard for me to interact um, like in I'm going to cast a thought he's targeting you um, I'm going to crack this polluted delta for a underground C and cast a mm -hmm. spell pierce mm. yeah that's fine Okay. That's um, also scary, but in a different way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move to combat. Sure. 
And I'll swing at you for two. Sure. I will take two. I will go down to 17. Mm -hmm. uh, first misplay of the game. Um, guys, you have a misplay count, Brayden? Can you set that up? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll um, put that right here. If so, okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to discard a card sure. to uh, go to Glover. Sure. Uh, Elish. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to cast Dance of the Dead targeting Elish Oh, no. Yeah, that's yeah, good. I forgot it was a, a stone rain for you for a second. Like the two damage plus stone rain. I should have done that pre combat, but. That's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Faster. All right. Uh, geez. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to cast this. Ugh. Ugh. Preordain? Mm hmm. Oh, that's, that's not it. Mm, that's good. Draw. That's also not it. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, a couple triggers here. Um, I'm going to pay for the Ghostly Pulper to draw a card. Sure. Uh, I'm going to enter combat. Sure. I'm going to swing you for four. Sure, I'll go to 13. I'm going to play this tapped hollow turn in pass turn. Oh, that's that's a magic card. I'll cast Brain from Brain for Brainstorm. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean, I'd be lying if that's what I wanted to see, but um, you know, these are magic cards and who am I mm -hmm. who am I to complain? We're gonna put these cards away. Uh, let's make sure it's in the right order. Yeah, well, that's the good order. Uh, I'll play this Tundra. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass turn. All right, on your end step, I'm gonna cast Vampiric Tutor. Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. Are you just trying to win more? <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. That's like kind of how this feels a little bit. Um, geez. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take two life to do this. I don't know. I'm going to get this card. Sure. Uh, I'll go to 18. Mm -hmm. 18. How many cards in hand? Um, just one left. Okay. Anything? I'm gonna source to posture your Elish Norn in case you got a counter spell for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. He gains some right, life. So five. Yeah. It's... Five. Go to twenty-three. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good my turn. All right, now the source splasher is just revealed. I'd like to up my punt counter to two. I didn't get a white source off my fetch land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to untap and draw a card. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go combat and swing you for two. I'll go to 11. Uh, I will pass turn. What are you at right now? Uh, 23. That's a life total, I guess. I'll play the Scalding Tarn. Cast Collective Brutality. Yep. I'm gonna discard a Fatal Push. Uh, so I'm gonna oh, look, wow. look at your hand, and I'm gonna kill your Ghostly Pilfer. Um, yeah. Um, sure. I have a uh, Teferi and a Final Party. 
that's that's some good old fashioned magic right there. Um, I'll take the final party, obviously. Hmm. I'll crack the scalding turn. Good ten. You know, if anyone here hasn't hasn't played against a uh, Teferi yet, congratulations. The card's really annoying. Um, I think I actually... So that's the last card you have in hand, though, right? It is, yeah. Yep. Maybe I will not lose this game. We'll see. That's unlikely, but we'll see. Yeah, it's it's tough having a, a singleton toolbox deck. So including things like Elishnorn, you need a high number of fatties to reanimate. So yeah. can't they they can't all be Gristle Granite. I'll shuffle that point, in a moment. So. I'm gonna cast Tassiger. Sure. Give you a nice clean target for that Teferi. Um <laughs> yeah. one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all I have to excel. Okay. And I'll pass turn. Right. Shuffle up. Untap. I remember sure. this is uh, two punts. <laughs> yeah, sure. I just have one. Yeah. Uh, I'll target Tassiger. Sure, that's fine. He'll draw a card. Yeah. Um, I will pass turn. <sighs> Draw. Hmm. I see. Um. I'm going to cycle this on Earth. I'm gonna play Tassiger. Because mm -hmm. I'll unearth Fatal Push, Polluted Delta, CR Visions, and we're gonna leave a Spell Pierce, Preordained, and Source Splashers. Okay. And I'll pass. Okay. Tap, draw. Oof. Not what I wanted to see. Uh. Tick up on Teferi. Uh, I'm going to cast this Reoccurring Nightmare. What is that? What's the activated ability like requirement on that? Sacrifice a creature, return this to my hand. Uh, sorcery speed, I can put a creature card from my graveyard. Uh, I'll pass turn after that. I'm thinking. One moment. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you're good. I can't counter that, can I? Okay. Nope. Go ahead. Nope. All right, draw. We're gonna kill your your Teferi. Dead. And I'll pass. Okay. That card's so good. <laughs> Teferi? Yeah. Snow covered swamp. Uh, I'm going to cast Buried Alive. Well, you know. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm dead already to whatever's in your graveyard, I guess. Well, I don't. So I'm, in, I'm in an awkward spot where. I guess in this circumstance, it'd be great to have like a blood ghast or something to pop out of the graveyard. Yeah, um, but that's such a good, unique situation, though. Yeah, agreed. Um, so I'm thinking right now, cards that you can't reanimate, or it's only good for me. And at the end of the day, this is Canlander, so um, I'm gonna put up Crystal Brand. I would like a seven, an eight man. <laughs> I would like yeah. that. That would be nice. Yeah, that's what I figured. 
Um, it's uh, too bad it's not a 7 mana 7 7. That shouldn't get taxes too. Yeah, so for those not aware, uh, Riker knows that the uh, only reanimation spell left in my deck is uh, reanimate, which cannot reanimate. Uh, you know, 8 mana spells are above because I'm only at 8 life. So, pretty smart. And, you have, and yeah, you have no uh, legendary creatures in your graveyard, right? Yep. Okay. Well, then this is a good pile. Anything else? Um, nope. Go ahead. Tassiger? Mm hmm. Burden Catacombs. Botanical Sanctum. You can give me a Source of Plowshares, a Spell Pierce, or a Preordain. Uh, Preordain. Sure. Untap. Draw. Um, for you. Yep, go to 19. Uh, Preordain? Mm-hmm. Draw. I'll pass. Uh, I'll cast this on Barrel of Rights targeting Crystal Brand. Um, I'll, tar I'll cast Remand. Sure. I will pass her. I'm also gonna thought scour myself. Mm -hmm. Drown in the lock and a logic knot. Mm -hmm. Draw card. Untap. Draw. Play this island. Attack you for four. Yep. Thirteen. Um, I'll pass turn. This Bloodstained Mire. I will cast some Barrel Rights targeting Gristlebrand. Um, gonna cast Force a will. <laughs> yep. Um, I will pass turn. What's your life total? 13. Play a brain pool, go to six. Mm -hmm. Cast okay, Tarmogoyf. Sylvan Library. Yep. I'll pass. How many cards in hand? Three. Okay, I'm gonna crack Bloodstain Meyer. Sure. I'm gonna go to 12. Mm -hmm. I think Remand is the card I, I play the worst in this deck. I've lost so many games to just misplaying Remand. Because I think I could have just forced the will to your Umbrial Rights and then Remanded the flashback and you wouldn't get it back. Yeah. Yep. So I think I just like... I, I mean, I do that all the time. Like Again, like I think Remand is the card I play the worst in this whole deck. Uh, draw. Mm -hmm. Funny. Um... 
I'm going to attempt to flash back and barrel rights uh, targeting Crystal Brand. I'm just going to abrupt decay the recurring nightmare in response. Um, wow. That seems crazy. You know what's funny is I just drew a remand. Oh. But it doesn't counter spell. I was about to say, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. That's fine. Yep. Uh, uh, Brand? Yep. Um, this is exiled. Uh, I'll pass turn. One, two, three. Ooh, all these. And you're at six, right? Yeah, all these cards are so good. Hmm. I want them all. I want them all. I want them all. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Is Crystal Brain gonna kill you? Technically, no. You gotta kill yourself. <laughs> I can't. I have six life. If I was at eight, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think this is how I. I go to two. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll cast in Tomb. Um, hmm. I'm at 11. Uh, yeah, and Tomb doesn't. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll concede. You had to counter that. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> that was my out. Is you countered that? I had a removal spell in my hand, but it was four mana. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Oh boy. Yeah. That was okay. a fun one. Thanks for the game, Riker. Game one. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, people enjoyed watching that. That was an interesting game. I, I definitely think it displayed how easy it is to just like lose a game of Magic. Uh, because I think if I had force a willed your uh, your burial rights and then remanded, I think that was my game to win. Um, yeah, it. Uh, I I started off really on uh, the the front foot there, and I tried to shut the door. I clearly saw a lot of counter magic and interaction from you, and I thought I so I vamp tutored for the Teferi, uh, knowing that it could at least cantrip and. Uh, set me up for later turns. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably some other wild, um, you know, cards I could have grabbed off that. Um, but for whatever reason, I just thought the um, the silence effect was important when I'm trying to play a combo reanimator deck with some fatties already I think, around. And I think that's personal. fair. I just happen to have the threat, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I think I I think what would have happened if I had done that correctly is I would have ended up with. Uh, a different card in my hand because I would have forced a little the thought scour but I would have been down one card but the cards I had in my hand were garbage so it didn't really matter I just needed to be like up on board you were at what like 13 life 12 life yeah 13 yeah you didn't attack that last turn would have brought me down to 9 um, and kind of within one shot of the Tarmogoyf stuff but um, I had a, a the, the funny part is is you abrupt decaying the recurring nightmare in response to me flashing back on burrow rates was kind of it kind of hurt because i actually have had a two drop creature in my hand that i was going to cast mm -hmm. um, but you would have done that in response anyways and just would have give you more information yeah. so i was trying to hold that back till later I as just... you interact with spells in your hand and then cast that and then reanimate so, I, I didn't want so you I like had, um, i need both ways. i don't want you like um burial right seeing the crystal brand drawing seven cards and then sacking it yeah. to get back a what's that guy that gives you infinite hand size um that's yeah. like the yep. worst case scenario. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I did that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a simple example of how like if you make one big 
mistake, you just lose, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, Because that really was what happened, I feel like. I mean, maybe you just had it all, but it didn't feel like it. I feel like I really just lost it there. So, interesting game. Uh, Normally, we do three games, but this was a last-minute recording, so it's just going to be that one game. I hope people enjoyed it. Uh, I think looking at the points list here, you think, like, oh, these decks are super similar. But they're actually pretty different. Um, I think these points, like, this combination of points roughly is, like, kind of broken and is, is maybe a little underpointed. So, um, that's like why you can do this to, you, like, I think that's why you and I are on the same points is that we see this like kind of insane synergy of, uh, you know, spell seeker, vampire tutor, man, train, dig through time, give some given intuition. Uh, yeah, like we, we both play blue black decks, right? But, uh, we had two in common, probably vamp and thought seize. the rest of these are hundred percent different. And that's why the point system is great. Yeah. It's because even though coming into this game, you probably thought, oh, a mirror match, great. That's is Oracle. Nah. Nope. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then, you know, this is, this is, these are the two most similar decks I've played so far. Um, if that gives anyone any indication, like what the metagame is like, uh, it's pretty varied. Uh, every deck I've played has been pretty wildly different. So. Hopefully people enjoy the gameplay, and I hope everyone has a nice one. Thanks again, Ranker, and thanks for checking out the video. See you, everyone. Take care, everyone.